Summers, and this right here is what would you do? How about that, huh? Yes. Oh, my. We have a great time here. This is the show, as you might know, that puts uh, people into absurd situations and then asks the question, what would you do? Well, I would like to find out right now what you would do if uh, I asked you if you were brave. I'm looking for a brave guy. A couple of hands going up over here. This man says he's brave. What's your name, sir? Chris. Chris, where are you from? Jacksonville. Uh, what would you do if I told you? Come on over here. Come on over here. We have something called the pie slide. Do you know what the pie slide is? Mm, sort of. Sort of. Well, in case you are not fully aware, take a look at this. Yes, Mark, behold the pie slide, calibrated precisely at a 45-degree angle. It sends the slider on a direct, non-stop course into this, the mother of all pies. A giant pie with a diameter of 8 feet and a depth of 25 inches. And weighing in at 475 pounds, 6 ounces, it takes over 9 hours to make each one. All that and a flaky crust just like Mom used to make, except way bigger. It is considered the ultimate privilege to ride the pie slide and the one and only place to find the fabulous pie slide is right here on What Would You Do? Back to you, Mark. Now, you know, it's become a big honor to ride the pie slide. What would you do if I told you that you could ride the pie slide? Would you want to do that? Yeah. You really would, huh? Okay. Now, in order to actually ride that pie slide, you have to earn it. So come down here with me. And uh, Robin, can we bring out a couple of containers over here? We have two containers, and you need to tell me which one do you want, number one or number two, because whichever one you select, you have to reach down and pull out whatever's in there and hold it for five seconds. If you choose to do that, you get to go to the pie slot. If not, we're going to find somebody else here who would. So it's going to be one or two. Two. Number two. That's what you want, huh? Yep. Well, you want to see what you didn't select? Okay. This is what you did not select. You will not have to hold this for five seconds. And we have, you know what those are? No. Pig brains. That's exactly what those are. Oh, sir. Those are pig brains. What'd you say, Robin? Sick. It is sick. How gross can we possibly get out? So aren't you glad you don't have to hold pig brains? Yeah. Yeah, I bet you would be. So would you like to see what you do have to hold? Sure. Okay, let's take a look and see that we have fish heads, ladies and gentlemen. We do have fish heads. <laughs> Smell pretty good, Thank huh? You, Thank you, Martha. so much. All right. So you didn't seem to be... Uh, bothered by that at all do you ever fish yeah so this is not going to bother you huh no so reach down there and let's uh, audience when he reaches down we'll count to five and then if he does it we'll go over to the pie slide go ahead reach down there and one in each hand if you would please oh aren't those pleasant my goodness can we oh my how do they get that thing in there is what i want to know <laughs> can we get him to pull it out there oh <laughs> do we have some here, scissors take, i gotta cut this thing right take the smaller right one take thank you robin right what a nice uh, this there man deserves uh more than this. All right. That's good. Now, now hold it in your hand. Let's count to five, audience. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. You did it. That's great. Drop them down over here. No, no. Follow me. Go right over here. Have a seat here. I need you to take off your shoes and socks because I don't want to mess those up, and I'll take your hat and glasses. Now, holding fish heads wasn't bad, was it? No. Well, why you do that? Would you like to hold some pig brain? No. Would you really? I can't believe we get people to hold almost anything on this show. All right, get your shoes, get your socks off. And uh, we don't have the pie cam today, do we? Oh, that's too bad. We are going to follow this gentleman. Take off your watch. Yeah, absolutely. And what you must do is go down head first. Is that okay? Yeah. Oh, okay, let me hold on to you. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Right up there, Robin will show you the way. And on the count of three, audience, he's going to go down head first. And we're going to see how well he does. All set up there? Head first. Here we go. One, two, three. There he goes. The show on What Would You Do? Stay around. We have a lot more fun. What, 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 what would you what, what, what would you do? half the pie. Is that good? Yeah, it is really good. Uh, did you enjoy that experience? Yeah. Okay, uh, we have an instant replay, as a matter of fact. Would you like to take a look and see how it looked? Go ahead. Uh, there's the monitor up there. Here you are going head first down our pie slide after picking up two fish heads and 
Boom. There he is. Head first, ladies and gentlemen. We buried him. So we're going to let you go backstage. We're going to get you all cleaned up, give you some new clothes, and uh, our congratulations. Thanks for helping us out, right? Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, well. What can I tell you? How would you like to go down the pie slide? No. No, I didn't think you. Have you ever known anybody who's done sleepwalking before? Yeah. Have you, what kind of weird things did they do? Everything. Yeah. Now, anybody else know any sleepwalkers? People who, are, yeah, are you a sleepwalker? Yeah. What, what happens when you sleepwalk? I go in my parents' room. You walk around in your parents' room? Oh, come, let's talk about this, huh? She talks? Oh, what kind of things does she say? Oh, she talks about the events she does during the day. So you talk about the events you did during the day, huh? Now, how long have you had this problem? I don't know. You don't know. Well, we wanted to know, what would you do if somebody came up to you and asked you to watch a sleeping grandfather? If I came over and I said, I'm in this park, uh, could you watch my sleeping grandfather, would you do it? Um, yeah. You probably would, because you're a sleepwalker, all right? Well, we wanted to know what you folks thought, so you stay right here. We'll get back to you in just a second. What would you do if somebody stopped you and said, my grandfather's here in the park, and i got to go make a phone call? Would you watch him? If you would, press the number one. But if you're not sure you'd watch him, and you'd say, well, I think this is a joke. I'm getting out of here. Press the number two. One, if you'd watch him. Two, if you'd walk away and say, I think this is a joke. And we find out, as usual here in our audience, that we have a lot of nice people. 78% of the people in this crowd said they would watch that sleeping grandfather. 22% said that they would not. How do you, do you do one of those? Is that what you do? Or how do you walk? Just kind of like, just kind of like that. All right, well, let's find out what the people would really do in a situation. So I put on a disguise. I had a mustache, some glasses. We hired an actor. We brought out some cameras. And we said, kids, watch my sleeping grandfather. Watch this. Here it is. My dad over here is asleep on the bench and he's on some medication. He kind of walks in his sleep sometime. And I got to go call my wife. Can you watch him just for a few seconds? Okay. Yeah. Just have a seat on the bench there. And now if he wakes up, if you just sing to him, he'll go back to sleep. I got to go call my wife. That phone is broken, so I'm just going to go up the street. I'll be back like in three minutes, all right? Okay, the boys are now alone with the sleeping grandpa. So far, there's no problem, right? Well, there goes Grandpa getting a little more comfortable, so the boys signal to each other to be quiet. Uh-oh, it looks like Grandpa's getting a little restless. Yes, I believe the sleepwalking has begun. And look, the boys are singing Rockabye Baby to him. But instead of making him lay back down, all it's doing is making him dance. But at least they're trying. Keep singing, guys. Grandpa's heading for the ladies' room over there. The boys are still singing, but do you think they'll try to stop him before he goes in? Well, I guess Grandpa's done in there, and the boys are going back to their singing. That's it, that's it, guys. Now head them back to the bench. Goodbye, baby, in the treetops. When the wind blows a cradle. Way to go, guys, you did it. Now all Grandpa has to do is, is get comfortable. Hmm, this looks like a nice spot. Great time doing that. That actor was terrific. We laughed all afternoon. We did several. Maybe we'll show you more of them. But uh, let me tell you about another episode we did here on What Would uh, You Do? We introduced uh, a gentleman who is a professional hypnotist. In fact, he was the premiere episode of this program. We liked him so much, we said, hey, let's bring him back. So let's do it right now. Please welcome Mr. Ken Whitener. Hey, hey Ken, how are you? Good to see you. Nice to see you. Have a seat. We have some great people here. We have some more suckers. Uh, no. no. <laughs> Subjects. I had so much reaction from that episode. Why, is, why can some people be hypnotized well, and others not? You just can't hypnotize some things. Rocks and tree stumps. <laughs> and I, I guess I fit into that category. What's your name, sir? Brandon. Where are you from, Brandon? Melbourne. Nice to see you. Not Australia, Florida, right? No. Florida or Australia? Florida. Oh, uh, good. Mark, I thought, Mark, you yes. see, he's a little hypnotized right now. Oh, okay. I see. <laughs> and your name is? Rochelle. And how old are you? Seven. Somebody's applauding you up there. Is that your mom? <laughs> Very nice. And your name is? Mark. Mark? Mm -hmm. That's my name. <laughs> Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Who cares? Okay, there we go. And you are? Melanie. And Melanie, how old are you? Eleven. And Mark, how old are you? 
Nice. Nice to see you. Okay, Ken, uh, what are we going to do? Well, you know, since uh, there is some skepticism about the uh, power of hypnosis, yes. I want people to understand that as a hypnotist, I'm not a magician. I don't have magical powers. Mm -hmm. All the hypnosis occurs within the minds and the magic of the people participating. And I'm going to let you be the hypnotist right now okay. because I've pre-programmed them for some push-button hypnosis. If you just touch this man right here on his forehead, on the count of three, he'll go deep sleep. One, two, three. Deep, deep sleep. sleep. Deep sleep. Now, oh don't my. let him fall out of his chair because you can see they really go. They really, they really, they really are. Limp. That's what you call push-button hypnosis. Oh, my God. You want to try one over here? Sure. One, two, three. Deep, deep sleep. Deep sleep. Completely relax. Limp and loose okay. every muscle. Okay, just ready, Mark? One, two, three. Deep, deep sleep. sleep. Deep sleep. Completely relax. Deep sleep. One, two, and three. Deep, deep sleep. sleep. Completely relax. There he goes again. One, now two, three. Deep relaxed. sleep. Completely it's relaxed. Incredible. Every muscle. Just letting go. Limp and loose. Completely relaxed. Now, the more we practice and, and uh, the more we reaffirm, uh, the deeper they go. But okay. right now, I think we need to wake them up and have some fun. What do you say? Okay, let's do that. their imaginations are ready to really have some let's fun. Go. You ready to wake them up? One, two, three. Wide awake, alert. Wide awake, wide awake, and alert. Feeling good. Not Sounds bad, good. huh? Now, I understand uh, that we have one gentleman here under a uh, post-hypnotic suggestion. Well, as you can see, uh, uh, I don't know if anybody's thirsty or not today, but we've been having a lot of rain lately. Yeah, we have. And it looks like it might rain out there today. Yeah, it looks Young like man, rain. Young man, does it look think? like rain to you? I don't know. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Um. Why did you do that? I got... Uh, hypnotized. Uh huh. Oh. He hypnotized me to do dump water on my head when he said when he said rain. Yeah. Does yeah, it see, look like can... rain? See, he can say it. it yeah, does it look like to... rain? Does it? No. No, no it doesn't. I don't oh, okay. think it is. You're you're high and dry now, aren't you, young man? You okay? Good. Cause look up there. See up there? Look up there. Look up there. Do you see any rain? I don't see any rain. It looks like rain now. Looks like oh rain. my god. Oh. <laughs> oh. Let's carry on with the other folks here. How y'all doing? Let's see, uh, what else would we like to do here? Oh, we have some talent on this stage. Do we really? We have some talent. Everyone take a deep breath, close your eyes, because you are going to be the superstars of the show. The world's funniest chickens on the count of three. Deep sleep. One, two, three, deep sleep. One, two, three, deep sleep. One, two, three, deep sleep. And now on the count of three, they're going to get up and show us their new chicken dance. Okay. I hope you enjoy this. One, two, three, wake up, wake up, wake up. <laughs> Release, release, release. Have a seat, kids. Have a seat. Have you were really seat. good. That oh, was it. Mark, a... you were great. Do you like this chair? Yes. You know, these are special chairs. They're electrified chairs. Whenever I touch my watch, <laughs> you're sitting in the water. You better watch out. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Never get electrified when it looks like rain. No, if it looks oh, like man. rain, you oh, be very, very man. Careful. You don't want to be. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> Brandon, would you stop doing that? That really bugs me. Speaking yeah. of bugs, I think you got a bug right down the back of your neck, right down the back of your neck. Oh, oh my bugs. goodness, they got a lot of bugs. Get They're going bugs into their off. pants. They're going into your pants. Oh, They're in your pants. pants. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're they got bugs down in the your pants. Down on the floor, down on the floor. Kill him. Get on the floor. Get, get on the knees and get him. Get him, get him, get him. Sleep, <laughs> sleep, 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 deep, sleep, deep, sleep. Very nice. I tell you what, why don't we uh, let these folks get a little uh, relaxation, and we're going to come back with some adults and see what we can do with them. So stay where you are. We'll be back with Ken Whitener and lots more here on What Would You Do? Way to go. Very good there, Brandon. We are back with hypnotist Ken Whitener, and we have some grown-up Thai people here, and your name is? Eloise. Where are you from, Eloise? Washington, D.C. Nice to see you, and you are? Marty. Where are you from, Marty? Cocoa Beach. Very nice, and you? Susan. Where are you from, Susan? St. Petersburg, Florida. Beautiful area. I was just down there the other day, and you are? Chris. What do you do, Chris? I'm a truck driver. Very nice. All right, here we go. Ken, take it away. Remember that thing I showed you a while ago? Yeah. That little push-button stuff? Right. He's a truck driver, so uh, he never wants to do this when he's driving a truck, but watch my finger. At no time will my finger leave my hand. It's amazing, but true. One, two, three. Deep sleep. Deep sleep. Would you help me out oh with this? Oh, my gosh. Guy? He's a big one, isn't he? This man is heavy. Are you married or single? Married. Married. Now, you might learn how to do this with your husband. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not your husband. Uh, what kind of work do you do? I'm a teacher. Then you definitely don't need to learn how to do this. Deep sleep. Deep sleep. Get ready to hold her, sir. <laughs> you know, they really go. You know, what is your name? Marty. Deep sleep, Marty. Completely relaxed. Deep sleep. Would you hold on to Marty there? Because it looks like rain. It looks like rain. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> Are you okay? Deep sleep. Deep sleep. 
I think we better wake him up. What yeah, do you say? Yeah, because this man is uh, laying on my knee, and I'd like him to get up. I would. Uh, <laughs> I'm supporting this man. man. <laughs> well, let's wake him up on the count of three. Okay. A big round of applause to wake him up on the count of three. What do you say? One, two, three. Wake All up right, now. Wake up. Wide awake, Wide awake. Wide awake. Wake, wake up, you guys. Wake up. Oh, my goodness. We have some competitors. These people are very, very competitive. Uh, have any of you ever driven a car real fast? Yes. Have you driven yeah, a car fast? Yeah. Well, we're going to have a good safe race. Sit up in your uh, seat right now. Close your eyes for just a moment and imagine your favorite color. What's your favorite color? Think about your favorite color now. Put on your seatbelt. Put on your seatbelts right now. You imagine that you're sitting behind the fastest car in the world and it's your favorite color. Now go ahead and put on your safety helmets because we're going to have a good safe race. Whoever wins the race is going to win $50,000. Nod your head yes if you'd like to win $50,000. I know you would. Take the keys. Go ahead and start the engine. Let me hear them now. Let me hear them. <laughs> Let me hear them now. <laughs> Louder now. <laughs> Let me hear those engines now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, place your bets on the count of three. We're going to take off. May the best person win. Good luck and good driving. One, two, three. Hit it. <laughs> Everybody get on the motorcycle, grab the handlebars, grab the handlebars, and start the engine. Hit it! Watch out for the hill! Keep your eyes on the road, keep your eyes on the road. There's a big swarm of bugs. Whoa! Right in your face! Stop the engine, stop the engine! You got a bug up your nose. He's way up in there. Get him out, get him out, get him out. on your finger. Oh, no, oh, you better wipe it off. That's disgusting. You know, the weather doesn't look too good today, no, Ken. No, I know it because this is very dangerous to race like this when it might be rainy. Yeah, it looks like rainy. rain to oh, me, doesn't it? Looks it? Like what do you think? Oh, oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> we have one more thing we want to do here, don't we? On a serious note. Okay. You know, hypnosis is a lot of fun when we do it for entertainment. But uh, one of the famous demonstrations of hypnosis is called the stiff and rigid test. And I'd like to ask this young lady if you'll help me out. Would you do that for me? Would you stand right up there? And you two fellows, if you'll help me out, we're going to uh, ask for you to help us out too. You stand over there and you stand right over there. We're going to use two chairs. And let's place them uh, facing straight ahead like they were before. Okay. And what we're going to do is hypnotize your name? Susan. Susan into a very deep state of hypnosis called the cataleptic state. I'm going to suggest to Susan that her entire body, from the top of her head to the very tips of her toes, has become as strong as steel. You, sir, and you, sir, are going to help me pick her up. Her entire body becomes stiff and rigid, locking so tightly that when you pick her up, you can put her head and shoulders here, feet and ankles here. She will form a human bridge, at which time I shall stand on top of her. Ladies and gentlemen, the famous stiff and rigid test has performed for over 200 years. Would you stand right there? Sir, you stand one over just a little bit here. You get behind me right here, sir. Susan, is it Susan? Mm -hmm. Absolutely right. Susan, stand here and face me. I want you to stand straight and tall, and you're in good physical health? Yes. Absolutely right. Stand straight and tall. Arms to your side, legs together, ankles together. Look into my eyes, Susan. Stand straight as an arrow. Soon your eyes will close, and when they do, you're going to stand taller and taller. One. Taller and taller. Two. And three. Take a deep breath and close your eyes and concentrate now. Imagine every muscle, every cell, every fiber in your body becoming strong and powerful, locking tighter and tighter. Arms locking tighter now, locking tightly to your side. Straight as an arrow, stiff and rigid as a board. Locking so tightly you cannot bend. Locking tighter, one, two, and three. Now, sir, I'm going to lean her back into your arms. You hold on to her. Lean her right back and hold her just like that. Do not let go. Sir, you're going to get the ankles, and on the count of three, we're going to lift her up. Lean her way back now, way back. Got a good hold now? On the count of three, we'll lift. One, two, three, up. Very good. Up, 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 up. Hold her just like that, sir. Now, you put her head and shoulders down there very carefully. Feet and ankles there very carefully. Straight as an arrow, stiff and rigid as a board. Now, I'm going to hand you this, if you will. And, sir, you stand right over here. Sir, you stand right over here. Ladies and gentlemen, on the count of three, I'll stand on the lady. The famous stiff and rigid test has performed for over 200 years. Here we go. Concentrate now. Concentrate. One. Two. Three days ago when I did this, the most amazing thing happened, standing ovation. One, hop, two, hop, three. Give that lady a nice big round of applause. It's amazing. Woo. Unbelievable. Can you wake her up? Pretty stiff, huh? That was unbelievable. Tell you what, you get under the shoulders, you get the legs. On the count of three, lift her straight up now. One, two, three, up, up, up. <laughs> Hold her like that, man. Put it right here, fellas.
You can move that chair. <laughs> In fact, why don't you two fellows go have a seat over there and uh, just relax. I think I can handle this now. Never attempt this at home alone. That's right. You guys okay? You okay? Men, don't peek. Sleep. Deep sleep, men. Deep sleep. You all right, sweetheart? Good night. Deep sleep. And now the young lady will relax her entire body on the count of three. One, two, three, deep sleep, completely relaxed, limp and loose, limp and loose, completely relaxed, limp and loose. Now, ladies and gentlemen, on the count of three, everyone a big round of applause will wake them up. They'll feel fantastic, refreshed, and alert. All eyes opening on the count of three, returning to normal. One, returning to normal. Two, the energy going into your body now, returning to normal, and two and a half, and three, wide awake, alert, wide awake, wide awake, alert, wide awake. Wide awake. Wide awake. Wide awake. Folks who helped us out, thank you. You did a terrific job. Thank you, Marty. Good job. Thank you so much. We'll be back right after this. Hi there. We're back. We have just about uh, two minutes left for our What Would You Do medley. And I need somebody for my What Would You Do medley. Uh, you want? You want to come down? All right. You come down. You'll be the first person. I need somebody for our second little routine. This gentleman, you want to come down? Okay, come on down, sir. Here we go, all the way down here. Here we go. I need the young gentleman over here, and I need you over here, sir. We're going to put a card on your head. We have no idea what it says. Actually, uh, Robin and I do, but you don't, and you have to make a decision. You must do what is on that card, or you have to go to the Pie Pod. So what's it going to be? Are you going to do the card, or are you going to go to the Pie Pod? I'll do the card, Mark. You want to do the card? Okay, take it off and see what it says. It says you must put your feet in dog food. All right, bring out this dog food. Take off your shoes and socks. Just one. Oh, that oh, smells so good. Robin. I'm going to lose it here. No, Robin. Oh, that's not a pleasant situation. Can we get those uh, shoes off pretty quick? Oh, boy. And you're really going to do this because uh, you one, decided just to one. just one foot. Oh, my that's God. all I don't we know need. Worse. The dog food all right, you come on down here, and I need you to put your foot in dog food. Oh, look at it. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, thank you. All right, well, sir, what's it going to be? You're going to do the card, you're going to the pie pod. Oh, uh, the card. You're going to do the card, take it off. Okay, it says you have to paint yourself green. How bad do you want to be on television? All right, we're going to put coveralls on him. All right, folks, we're going to get this gentleman all set up to uh, paint himself green. We'll get him in some coveralls. Was that terrific? Yeah. Can we get the, yeah, he really liked that. We'll get the dogs to lick your feet. They'll eat that stuff. And while we're getting our gentleman set over there, I want to say a big thank you.